over. You, you got the win against your former team. How, how did it feel? And can you really open up and let us know how the week was leading up to it? Yeah, it was a great. It was a great win for us. Obviously, um, a lot was on the line for us as a team, and uh, excited that we came out and, and played well, full game as a team. Obviously, this was an important one for me. You know, um, being where we're at in the season and, and having the opportunity to win the, the division, but first and foremost. Um, but just proud of our guys and the way we responded uh, with the opportunity we had at hand. With choice words today, you know, in regards to this game, you care to share uh, what it was that you, you told them? I don't even know what I said. Uh, <laughs> you wanted to go get, go get the last score, did you? Yeah, I wanted to go finish the game. I think at that point it was still 17-3, uh, to 3, and I knew if we, we got points on that drive that we are going to, you know, put the game away basically. So uh, it was it was important for me to uh, and for our team, obviously, to uh, to be able to drive, uh, run time off the clock, and then you know we're able to get points and, and basically in the game. Now you won the division. Now you kind of control your own destiny to, to get the one seed and, and host playoff games all the way through. Oh, it's huge. You know, it's huge. You know, getting the win. Got a little help today, so a big opportunity for us next week to go take care of business and um, and seal off the one seed. So. Uh, it's going to be a big week of practice and preparation for us and have to go play well on Sunday. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Ryan, how big was the, the run game specifically for you guys and then maybe more specifically Deontay Foreman and the job he's done in helping to kind of stabilize the, the backfield without Derek? Yeah, he's done a great job for us. Really, all of our backs have, have done a great job filling in. Obviously, tough shoes to fill. Uh, we talk about one of the best, if not the best, running back in the league. Um, but they've done it. They've, they've come in and, and ran hard, uh, given us – Kind of a one-two punch there with with Foreman and Hilliard. Hilliard, a little speed, you know, has the uh, the ability to to get loose as we saw way back in New England, um, and and provides us a little juice there. And then Foreman's been running hard, you know, he's he's getting the tough yards. You see him get contacted, you know, one yard, two yards downfield, and then he's, he's driving his feet and pushing the pile. And he ended up with six yards. You know, if you're able to do that consistently, you're going to sustain drives, get first downs, and and ultimately score more points. I feel like for you, Ryan. To, uh... Yeah, we've been through a lot in the face of a lot of adversity. Um, it's kind of wild, you know, when you think back through everything that, that we've been through and uh, injuries and COVID and, and everything else along the way. Um, we're proud of our guys, the way we've, we've battled through, um, been in some tough situations and found a way to win games uh, when we we're shorthanded. So um, if you're able to do that and just continue to find a way to win games, you put yourself in a situation like we're in now to, uh, to control your own destiny. Did you talk to Marino before the game? Thank you about maybe how your career's progressed and success you've had here. Yeah, I talked to Dan. It was great to talk to him a little bit before the game. Talked to him and Nat Moore um, when I went out there and warmed up. Uh, it was good to see him. You know, I see him occasionally down in South Florida. So, um, you know, Dan was always great to me when I when I was in Miami, and uh, it was good to see him. What's it feel like for you, Ryan? Um, you know, I guess the years in Miami didn't have much in terms of you know reaching the playoffs or anything like that. What's it about been like these last two years, division titles, and, and another shot at. Uh, Playoff success here. It's fun as hell to win. Uh, you know, I love winning. I love competing. Uh, but winning is uh, is why you're out here. So um, I love doing that. And I'm proud of our guys and, and the way we've, like I mentioned, fought through a lot and uh, continued to find ways to win. So uh, hasn't always been been perfect or pretty. And um, it's football. It never is. So the fact that we can continue to find ways to win has, has been a lot of fun. Like you played a you know a pretty significant role in, in helping to turn. You know, a franchise here into the into the right direction. Well, I hope so. I'm doing everything I can to to go out and and try to lead our guys, put ourselves in position, win games, and, and win games. You know, whether it's um, the balls in my hand in the, in the fourth quarter, or uh, if you take care of business early earlier on in the game. You know, I think um, I think I actually I know I have a lot of fun uh, doing that. So uh, excited for what's in front of us. Take me mind when locker room was kind of in a celebratory mood after winning. What's the balance like in kind of celebrating what you've accomplished, but also knowing that you have a much bigger goal at hand? Yeah, it's, uh, it, was a, it was a battle I was having in there myself. You know, I'm thinking, uh, try to enjoy the moment and, and celebrate, but I'm going around telling the guys, like, we're just getting started, you know. Um, it's a big step. We enjoy it, but we're just getting started. We've got a long way to go. And uh, that was kind of my message going around to the guys, congratulate them, but, you know, Thinking in the back of the mind, we got a long way to go, and, and we're just getting started. So 
uh, definitely try to enjoy the moment and, and uh, celebrate today for what it is, but it's knowing in, in the back of our minds that, you know, our ultimate goals aren't, aren't uh, done yet. We still have a long way to go. Well, he's done, a, done obviously a great job. You know, I think the vision he casts on a weekly basis, the confidence that he projects no matter who's out there, you know, whether it's an injury, uh, a COVID issue, whatever comes up, he gives the guys the ability to go out and play confidently and try to take advantage of their opportunity. You know, we've had so many guys step up and play huge for us that probably didn't, didn't start the season with a big role or, or even during the week didn't know that they were going to have a big role. I think back to, to Dylan last week. You know, didn't know, you know, he's going to be in the game. And, uh, you know, a couple hours before kickoff, you know, all right, you're the starting left tackle, you know. So uh, just that mindset of, of next man up and having the confidence to, uh, to step in and, um, and play good football on short notice or, or in tough situations has been huge, and it's all led by Rabel. Ryan, Ryan with a chance to talk to Michael, um, you know, after he was carted off. And I thought it was a really neat moment, too, that the Dolphins players, it seemed like almost the whole team came over, you know, as he got on the cart. It's just a tough moment, I'm sure, for you. Yeah, it's brutal, honestly. You know, you hate to see it uh, to anybody and especially to one of your, your teammates. Um, yeah, it's gut-wrenching, honestly. Uh, I turned and, and the, I saw the ref waving over. And then I looked back and, and saw what was going on, and all, my, my stomach just, just churned. You know, you feel so bad, um, I and mean, you hate to see it. You know, you wish that could never happen to anybody on the, on the football field. But, um, yeah, I'd be praying for Michael and um, connecting with him and trying to support him, you know, through these next steps. Ryan, with the possibility that Derek um, is going to come back for you guys down the stretch, do you feel good? about maybe just the kind of pieces starting to maybe fall into place for the offense. AJ's back. The O-line got through you know entire game together with Derek possibly coming. Do you, do you kind of, are you kind of maybe excited about it? <clears throat> yeah, we're, we're starting to have a little bit of momentum and, and do some good things. Obviously, um, we'll, see, we'll see where Derek ends up and, and hopefully we can get him back. But, um, you know, getting AJ back, Starting to build some momentum, play some consecutive games of good football, taking care of the ball and running the football, playing our, our style of ball uh, has been huge for us to, to uh, kind of finish up these last few weeks of the season. You guys said that when you guys came back from the bye week, Brable sort of said, okay, this is kind of when the, the real season or, or when things really get started. Can you talk about that a little bit and, and you know, what, uh, what you guys have done since then? Yeah, you want to play your best football in the end of the year. You know, I think we kind of set ourselves up through the year to, to be in a good position. But you want to play your best football, you know, going into January. And uh, that's what the great teams do is they find a way to get hot and, and build confidence going into the playoffs. And then uh, you got to play your best football in the playoffs. That's what it comes down to is, is the games are tough. Uh, the margin for error is small. But you have to be able to play your best football on a weekly basis, you know, late December into January.